Awesome. So thank you for all coming. Um, this is about housing. And it's about our failure in California to adequately address uh, affordable housing. I've often said and been asked why I wasn't doing more housing bills. And I, from the day I was elected, say, said it's not really my lane. I, I try to raise people's wages. I, I worry a lot that people have enough money to afford housing. But we're at a point at a crisis situation now where it's everybody's lane. And it has to be. So what we're doing today is we're introducing two bills, um, AB 2345, oh, I'm going to be able to remember that, 2345, if I can't remember that one, can't remember any, um, will boost the number of affordable units in California by increasing the incentives to build affordable housing. California's density bonus law has been on the books for 40 years with the goal to boost mixed income developments, but it's failed to draw the interest from developers. It just hasn't penciled out. Currently, the incentives to build affordable housing projects that are available in the city of San Diego are not available to the same extent in cities and counties around California, including some of the cities I represent, like Chula Vista and National City. In the first seven months of the program here in San Diego, developers applied for nine times as many projects per month than under the previous iteration of the bonus program, the bonus program that currently exists statewide. That shows real change, and it's a change I want to see for the sake of affordable housing throughout this state. Communities across California, including some here in San Diego County, can take a page from what was learned here in the city by increasing the bonus density. First, this bill will increase the maximum density bonus a developer can receive in exchange for committing to a higher number of affordable units. Second, the bill will allow developers to access more incentives, like reduced parking requirements, setback relief, and modify design requirements if they commit to a higher percentage of affordable units. With more than 40% of all Californian households considered cost burdened, meaning households spend more than 30% of their monthly income on housing costs, this bill will, will provide developers the right kind of incentive to build affordable units we urgently need in California. But as we take steps to boost inclusionary housing throughout California, we need to also learn from a cautionary tale here in San Diego. So today we're introducing two bills. One that has shown in San Diego to, to be positive, to really affect change as far as inclusionary housing. And the second that, thank God for um, some smart minds and, and council member Chris Ward uh, got stopped. But it's a cautionary tale as we, as we uh, insist that people build more affordable housing. AB 2344 would prevent the utilization of poor door separate designated entrances for different tenants and would ensure tenants would have access to all common areas and amenities. This bill will prohibit developers from isolating all affordable units to a particular floor or area. This plan is an important piece to addressing California's housing crisis. As we push and give more incentive for developers to provide higher density, mixed income housing, we need to make sure that that housing isn't segregated. These two bills together will allow us to do it, and it's great that we were able to do it straight here from San Diego, where we've learned on both accounts. To talk a little bit more about the details of these and why they're so necessary, we have the bill sponsor, Circulate San Diego, um, my good friend and La Mesa City Council member, Colin Parent. <laughs> 